Good evening, Health and Wellbeing Magazine. I'm Lavina Mehta. I'm going to take you through a full body workout this evening. It's going to help you feel good physically and mentally. All you're going to need is your positive energy. You're going to have a mat or a rug. If you have any dumbbells, that's fantastic. Otherwise, any safe household objects will do. Maybe some tins, some cans, some safe plastic bottles. Fill them up with some weight. You can watch this workout back. It's going to be saved on Health and Wellbeing Magazine's Instagram page. And I'm at Feel Good with Lavina. So if you want to contact me or see any more of my workouts, please head over there as well. I'm also going to be doing a takeover soon on Health and Wellbeing Magazine. I'm going to provide some lovely uh, recipes, some tips and some great stretches for those working from home and suffering from back pain. So good evening to lots of you that have joined. I hope you're all ready to go. This should take us about half an hour or just over, depending on if I give you a lovely finisher at the end. I want you to enjoy it. Exercise and medicine is going to help release those endorphins. I'm going to keep talking through because I'm really hot on form and technique. And I'm going to give you lots of teaching points. I'm going to give you modifications. So if you're thinking you're worried about HIIT or anything like that, I'm going to give you low impact versions of all the exercises as well. Play this back. Do it again. Progress yourself as well with your weights. We're going to start with mobility so that I have a feel good fitness prescription. This workout is going to cover mobility, it's going to cover HIIT and a little bit of cardio, strength training, which I absolutely love. And we're going to stretch at the end the reward for our hard work this evening. So, guys, you're going to start at the top of your mat. We're going to get nice and warm. Really important to mobilize all the muscles. You're going to take a nice big inhale, lifting those arms, hinging at the hips. We're going to come to a nice forward fold. Feel those hamstrings. How are they feeling? We're going to walk it out into a lovely high plank. So you're going to have your hands directly under your shoulders. I am sucking my belly button in towards the ceiling. We're going to activate the core first. And then if you can, you're going to bring your foot out, your left foot to your left hand. Don't worry if you can't go as far. Even if you're back here, I want you to try and put your heel on the ground. Sink into those hips. How are they feeling? If you've been sitting for too long today, they may be feeling tight. So give them some love. We carry our stress and anxiety in our hips. So holding here, breathe in, breathe out, bring that foot back. We're going to do the same on the other side. Sinking into that right hand side. Hold there for a second. Breathe in, breathe out. We're going to lift the hips, walk the hands slowly towards the feet and roll up the spine. So really nice walkouts to start. We're going to do one more. Same thing again. Take a nice positive inhale. Hinging at the hips, falling forward. Walking our hands out to that beautiful high plank. You've got a straight line from your head to your heels. Your pelvis is tucked under. Core is sucked up. Belly button towards that ceiling. And then you're going to bring that foot out again. Wherever it goes, bring the heel to the ground. Maybe add a nice opener here. So we're going to get a nice chest and spine opener. Lifting that hand. Give me a little wave for anyone doing this live this evening. Inhale, exhale. Bring that hand back. Bring the foot back. Let's go to the other side. Sinking down. Holding strong. Opening out the other arm. Nice straight line from this hand to the other one on the ground. Hand back, foot back. Lift those hips. Walk it back. Roll up the spine. We're going to do a few spinal rotations. If you just come down into a nice all fours position on the ground, have something soft under your knees to protect them. Hands under shoulders. We'll start with a little bit of a cat cat. 
exhale, we're going to throw that in one of my favourite moves. So extend your tailbone, lift through your chin, shoulders away from your ears, opening up the front part of your body. Inhale, then exhale, round out the back, really open up the vertebra, chin to chest, tucking that tailbone under. One more, inhale and exhale. Let's go for our openers. We're going to bring one hand towards that ear, open that elbow, and then bring it down towards the opposite wrist. Inhale as we twist open, exhale as we come down. Inhale, twisting open, exhale, coming elbow towards that opposite wrist. Other side team, opening out. Let's really just mobilize the spine, so important. Before we get into our main workout, give your body some love. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. We're going to go into a few child's pose circles. So keeping it dynamic. Imagine you're going into a child's pose, bringing those hips towards the glutes. Then I want you to come forward, draw nice big circles with those hips. This is such a nice movement. Really lovely, just giving your body some space. Let's go round the other way. So just easing back into that almost child's pose to a nearly a cobra. Inhale, exhale. Lovely, keep breathing, focusing on our breath through this workout. And we are gonna come into some nice adductor rocks. So we're gonna have one foot out to the side, toes pointing forward. The other foot, toes tucked under, and I'm going to just bring your glutes towards your heels. See how that feels? I've got a lovely long stretch on that inner thigh. Coming forwards, exhale, sinking back. Let's do a couple more. You can even start extending the upper body, or you can stay nice and high. Whatever feels good for you. Let's do the other side team. So that other foot is now out to the side, toes pointing forwards, toes tucked under on that supporting leg, rocking back and forwards. How is your body feeling? Let's get nice and warm. And one more. Oh, enjoying these stretches in the evening. We're going to come up to a nice standing position. Another one of my favourites, I've got so many things I want to show you. We're going to pretend we are a beautiful sunflower. I hope you guys enjoyed the sun and got out there today for a feel-good walk, as I call them. You're going to come into a nice forward fold position, hanging out. We're going to get our hands onto opposite elbows, release those hamstrings. You can have a soft bend in those legs. And we're going to try and grow up like a beautiful sunflower, coming round one side of the body. Inhale, exhale, coming down. Let's go round the other way. Such a beautiful, lengthening movement, growing our bodies like a flower in that sunshine. Good. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. This feels so good and relax, good. I want you to all get into a nice walk or a jog, depending on your energy levels. This is your workout. We're gonna go into a circuit now. We're gonna do four exercises. Gonna go from a hit exercise to an upper body exercise to a lower body exercise to that core at the end. So four exercises, we're working 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. We're going to blitz this, so keep moving. We are going to start with star jumps. Then we're going to actually go into press-ups. So I'll quickly do the teaching points on the press-ups now while you're keeping warm. You can start off beginners with a nice wall press-up. So I want you to come against the wall if you haven't done press-ups before. Hands to shoulder height. You are going to come with your chest towards the wall with a straight line. I'm not breaking at the hips. Depending on your level to progress, you can go further away with those feet. 90 degree bend in those arms. Second level for the press-up. So if you guys are watching and you're used to them, please keep jogging it out. 
even add some high knees, box press up here, knees under hips, chest between the hands, squeezing up. Level three is a three quarter, so I'm bringing my hips down and through, I'm not leaving them up in the air. And the final version, anyone joining me for full press ups, you can always regress. But we're going to start with some lovely star jumps or jumping jacks in 10 seconds team. Let's get this timer on. We're going to blitz it tonight. We're going to feel amazing afterwards, I guarantee it. So star jumps, low impact version. I want you to clap through. You can just step it out. You could go fast here. Otherwise, full star jumps for me. We are working every single muscle. If your mums and your kids have gone back to school, this is like us going back to school in that playground. Classic exercise, getting that heart rate up. Good work team, we've got 10 more seconds. Nice and light on the balls of those feet. Keep working for me, two, one. Great work, you've got 20 seconds. My hair's already falling out. I know I worked hard enough there. We're going into press ups. So whichever version works for you, it's 40 seconds. If you need to regress, you can regress. So do as many as you can, and then go to an easier option. Let's go team. Nice, slow, controlled. If you're on a wall or a full press up, Imagine you've got a lovely straight line from your head to your heels. You are like a traveling plank. Chest between the hands, not the face. Core in tight. That is our essential part, that core. You're going to keep it engaged. Breathe through. So inhale, exhale as you come up. One more, T. And we're done. You're going to go into squats now. So grab your weights. Improvise with whatever safe objects you've got at home. I'm going to use a dumbbell. You could use two lighter weights. I'm going to hold it as a goblet. Feeling out of breath, which is fantastic. We're going to go with perfect squats here. We have got our knees tracking in line with our toes. We're squeezing up. Weight in my heels. Core in tight. I'm going to show you from the side. My knees don't cross those toes. And I'm sitting back on that imaginary chair, squeezing up. For anyone advanced, I want you to add a little halfway down, squeeze up. So we're going for a nice one and a half squat here. Woo! Breathe out as you come up. Really tighten those glutes. Feel each rep. I want a perfect squat. Make sure those knees are coming up. We're resting. That was quick. We're getting on our mats now for some dead bugs. So, easy option. You're going to come into a nice tabletop position. We're going to remove that arch between the back and the mat. Lifting our legs into tabletop. You're extending your opposite arm and leg. Making sure we're not arching that back. Core is in tight. To make it harder, guys, you could lift up your shoulders and your head. No tension on your neck. Just imagine an apple between your chin and chest. Really feel it. This is such a great move to build up core strength. So the lower the leg goes, the harder it is. But I don't want that back to arch. Keep working team, squeezing through and relax. We're going straight in, no rest, second round. On those dead bugs, if you've been doing them for a while, you can add in some very light dumbbells and we can even try to go both arms, both legs. Let's go with those star jumps from the top team. 40 seconds. Keep working with me. Well done. Come on, you're smashing this. You're going to feel great. This is a treat for your body and your mind. As I said, through the pandemic, exercise.
exercise for sanity, not vanity. I really believe in that. You're going to feel really, really great after this. 10 seconds. If it gets hard, you can always regress. I'm giving you easier options. Clap for me. Give yourselves a clap. Woo! Relax. That 20 seconds goes fast. We have got lots of you live this evening. Well done, team. We are going for press-ups again. Did you manage the whole set? 40 seconds of press-ups. If you need to change position, please do. I want perfect reps. Coming down as slow as you can, chest towards the ground, squeezing up. Anyone advance, you can even try tricep press-ups where your thumbs are touching, we're skewing our sides with our elbows. Lots of progression with strength training. I love it. You're constantly challenging the bodies, burning fat, building lean muscle. Woo! One more team and we are there. Great work. How are we getting on with those squats? Could you increase your weight? Could you move up to that one and a half squat? Instead of normal squats, challenge yourself. We're going in five seconds. Have a little breather. Let's go team. Health and Wellbeing magazine. Come on halfway, squeeze it all the way up. That's it, really feel these squats. I'm really hot on form in these and I want you to get the most out of this amazing lower body compound exercise. The king of lower body, squeezing up. And come on, keep working for me. Get a few more reps. I'm gonna go halfway, tease those muscles, squeeze it up. Really good work. Stay in the game, we're nearly there. And coming to our dead buds. So you have some options. You can hold some tins or some very light dumbbells. We can add a little bit of weight here. Instead of going just arm and leg opposite, you can even go into double arm and leg extension. As long as your core and back are imprinted into that mat, squeeze it. You can lift that head up if you don't feel it in your neck. Otherwise, easier option, and I'm going to show you even with the weights, is the opposite arm and leg. Feel the pull. Really tighten the core. Contract it. Keep working. Breathe. We exhale on the hard bit. Bring the leg and arms back in. Can you feel your core? Working hard. Well done, well done. First circuit is complete. Really good work. So, have a sip of water, keep hydrated, get ready if you've got more energy, get into that jog, get into your high knees straight away, keep it moving. We are going into our next circuit, which is one of my favorites, a little bit of boxing, with some shuffles, we're gonna keep our feet moving. You could go low impact, or you could go fast. You could even add weight. So I've got my water bottle, but we could use some light tins here and add a little bit of weight here, maybe on round two. We're then going into bent over rows. So teaching points, keep moving, we'll let you recover as well. We are gonna work bent over rows. You're gonna pick up two weights, whatever works for you. You can always progress, play this workout back and go heavier. Shoulders are back and glued. I'm gonna hinge at the hips. Imagine I'm closing a cardboard behind me. I can feel it on the backs of my hamstrings. The weights just travel in front of my legs, close to my body and I squeeze up. As soon as I feel those hamstrings, I go about an inch further and squeeze up, sorry. RDLs, I showed you those first, but it's very similar positioning. For our bent over 
toes. I want you to feel that same tension on the hamstrings. So we've got lovely, strong position here, and we're going to row in. My elbows skim the side of my body. They're not flaring out, and I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades back and in. Back pain, trust me, get your back strong with strength training and it will really help alleviate pain. We're then gonna go into some lovely Russian twists on the mat. So we have got our boxing. I'm gonna have a quick sit. It is the end of a long day. We, I've been working all day, school run was a nightmare, but this is the best way to de-stress before dinner. Let's get going with our boxing. I'm gonna pick up these light dumbbells. If you've got some tins, Let's go. Fast feet or slow feet, but I want you to punch out those arms. Just jab straight, core in tight, knees soft, light on those feet, and I want you to punch away any tension, any stress, anxiety. Get it all out here, team. Come on, get rid of it. Woo, 15 seconds to go. Can you go any faster? Even if you're stepping it out, punch those arms. Really work it. Last five, and three, two, one. Lovely, heart raiser, bit of hit to start. We're going into our bent over rows. Upper body first, shoulders back. When you're in that position, I don't want to see any rounding of the back. So glue it here. Shoulders back, hinging at the hips. We're growing. Four variation, if you ever play this back, which I hope you do, you can add in singles and a double. My core is sucked up to the ceiling to protect my lower back. Let's just go with double today. Up and slow on that eccentric, that negative phase. I want you to go really nice and slow. Squeeze it, feel it. If your form goes, simply come up, reset, and make sure you come back into it. Come on, one more good row. Woo! The beauty of strength training is that you can progress. You're gonna go up in these weights when you come back to this workout. You're going to feel stronger each time. Okay, guys, we're going into Romanian deadlifts. Feeling that lovely tightness on the backs of those legs. It's a free bum lift I'm giving you here. Squeezing up. So weights just travel in front of my legs. And I really squeeze the glutes as I come up. Breathing in. Exhale as I come up. Come on, can you feel it? It is not just a simple drop. I want you to really build that tension in the backs of those hamstrings. Squeeze the glutes through. This you're going to feel. Message me, DM me. When you feel this in a day or two. I love being a pain in the butt. Literally, job is done then. We're going down to the mat. We're going to correct some of these Russian twists that I used to see in the gym and classes. We are not just hanging out, having a chat, twisting round. Arms straight, shoulders back, bring those fingertips to the knees. Core should be on fire now. Then you're gonna twist. We could just stay body weight. We could add in a weight here and hold it. You could also bring those legs up. But I want you to really feel your core. Gaze just follows those hands. Come on, twist it. Really effective exercise when done properly. Good team, 10 more seconds. Can you feel those obliques and those deep core muscles burning up? Come on, three, two, and one. Woo! Straight in after a lovely 20 second rest. We're going for the second round of this circuit. You can tell me later what your favourite circuit was, but I love a bit of boxing. Great stress reliever. Let's go team. Punch it out. That's it. Really work. 
You are going to go fast as you can, or you can stay that slow pace and really feel it. Get rid of that stress right here. Get those endorphins flowing. Release around the body. I want you to feel good. I'm sure you will. Come on. Work as hard as you can. Rest if you need to, obviously. 10 more seconds, team. Punch out those arms. Keep it moving. Last little bit. Well done. Woo! That heart rate is high. If you've done your trackers, share your stats, tag us on your stories with this workout. Health and Wellbeing Magazine. We're going into bent over rows, shoulders back, glued in this position, hinging at the hips, keeping it solid. Let's go, squeeze up, slow that movement down. Really feel it, breathe out as you squeeze, inhale as you come down. If you want to add a few singles, single, double for variation, and increase your weight next time. Come on team, we've got less than 15 seconds. Give me a few quality reps. Feel that back working hard. Woo! And relax. Drop the weights if you need to. We're gonna go into a very similar position with this lovely bum lift, tightening the hamstrings, working, lifting those glutes, Shoulders back. Give me a smile. I want you to be enjoying this. Come on, let's go. So hinging back, glutes touching the wall behind you. Squeeze up. All that car door. Imagine. Really feel it on the backs of those legs. So I'm pushing the hips and glutes back. Squeeze those glutes as you come up. Really feel it. I'm going slow and controlled. Time under tension for the muscles. And I want you to really focus your brain on the areas we're working. So we've got that mind over muscle connection too. Woo! Great work team. I'm going to hold on to a dumbbell for these Russian twists. If the first round body weight was hard enough, Stick to that. There's lots of time to progress. Come on, get down on the mat. You are going to come into that leaning back, hollow hold position, then twist. Really feel it. Tighten that core. That means navel to spine. Suck it in. If you want to make it harder, lift those legs up. Woo! You can hear from my voice. I am feeling it. I want you to feel it too. If you feel like your form's gone, restart. I'd rather less is more. Done properly. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. We can do this. Virtual team today. Woo! And relax. How did it feel? Give yourselves a little clap. Take a little bit of water on board. We've got the final circuit. Then we're gonna maybe add a little sneaky finisher and the best part is the stretch. So don't skip on that. We're going, I'm gonna dread to say this, everyone live, send me some horrible emojis. We're going for burpees. Now don't be scared of burpees. I have my feel good with burpees on my IGTV, there's so many versions, you can build up. So don't be scared of them, but they're super effective. So I'm going to give you two options today. You are going to go for a low impact walkout burpee, which is where you're going to bring your hands in front of your feet, step it out to a high plank, bring those back in, stand up, give me a clap, or even just a light little jump depending on whether you want to add the jump or not. Otherwise, full burpees, I'm going to talk you through. We are then going to need your bed, your sofa, or the edge of your stairs. So anything you've got that's fixed and not going to move, we're going to go into dips. 
Beginners, if you really can't do elevated dips, come to the mat. Keep moving, guys, while I quickly show you these teaching options. We are going to bend those elbows. I'm not moving my hips up and down. I am really getting a small movement. Elbows are tucked in and back, even when I'm on the elevation. Knees bent or legs straight. We're then going into split squats. So either a reverse lunge position, a static lunge like this, or you're going to bring your leg up. Just go body weight if you're beginners. Down and up. Protect that front knee. So we're going to take a nice stride forward. And then we're going to finish with some planking. I'm not going to give it away. We're going to get going. You're going to love it. We haven't got long now. So let's get this done in 10 seconds. Quick sip of water before the burpees. Let's get ready in two, one. If you're going for full, make sure you get that high plank in. Keep it going. If you're walking out, get that plank in. Solid in and out. Give yourselves a clap. Whichever version you're doing, keep going for me. That's it. I want you to feel good with burpees. We've got just a couple more good ones. Come on, push it. Little bit of high intensity. But you can do low impact or high impact. Woo! We're done. Breathe. Dips on the ground. Or come to your sofa, your bench, a chair that's not going to move. Come against it. Easier dips are with your legs bent. Elbows are going to be tucked in, pointing back. You're going down, squeezing up. This is all your body weight, team. So do what you can. Inhale, exhale. Stay close to your, your back, where, whether it's a chair or the stairs. Go down, breathe out. Really hard, especially after those burpees. Control your breathing. I know it's tough. Can you give me just one or two more? We're nearly there. Well done, team. And roll out those wrists. Relax. We're going for split squats. I'm going to show you body weight as well. So I'm going to bring one foot onto that elevated surface. Or you can keep in a nice long lunge, yeah, protecting those knees. That's why I say a long stride. Hold your weights if you want. We're going down and up. 20 seconds on each side. This is such an effective exercise. Glutes, thighs, legs, every part. One more. Squeezing up. You've got to keep your core Engage. We're always using our core to keep us balanced. Swapping over, come on. Feel it, even it out. Breathe out as you come up. Tighten everything. Well done, team. Chest lifted, one more. Woo! Coming down into a high to a low plank. If that's too much for you, you stick to the high plank. Just like our warm up, we're going into commandos. We may even add some mountain climbers in. Let's see. Let's go from a high plank down to that perfect low plank on your forearms. Back up to high plank. Add some mountain climbers in. One, two, three, four. Controlled slow climbers down to low plank. Using those shoulders up to high plank. Do you want to add those climbers in? Do what you can. Stay on a high plank if this is too much for you. Low plank. Feel that core. Come on. Tighten it. Squeeze every muscle in your body. And relax. Last circuit. How are we doing? We are going to blitz this team. I'm so proud of all of you. Let's get it done. Woo! We've 
We've got five seconds. We'll turn on this royalty free music. Let's go. Burpees to the finish line. Let's go. You're stepping out. Just feel it. It can be intense on this low impact version. Otherwise, full at that springy jump. Woo! Enjoy it. That's it. Last few, team. Come on, health and well-being magazine. You guys are smashing it. Regress if you need to. Woo! One more for me. Last 30. Done. Excellent work. Going over to our dips. Try and breathe. Control that heart rate. I know this is tough. So do what you can. Maybe start with leg strength. Regress to legs bent. Or even down on the mat. Let's go. We've got the last 40 seconds of dips. Come on, feel them. Trying to get a 90 degree bend in those elbows. We are working more than our triceps here. It's another big compound move. That's why I've stuck it in. Woo! Last 15 seconds. See it through. Roll the wrists out. Reset, rejoin if you need to. Bend those legs if you want to regress with me. No harm in regressing. And relax. Wow. Bulgarian split squat. Shall we add some weight? I'm going to add a little bit of weight. So, this is where you can progress. We've got one leg. Let's get in position. Coming gently forward. Let's go for 20 seconds. If you've got your foot on the ground, feel it the same way. Split. Starts. Down, squeeze up. Big exhale. As we come up, one more. And the swap sides. We are nearly there, team. Woo! Last few. On this side. Down and up. I can feel this is such a good burn. That lactic acid. We are working hard, getting stronger, relax. Last bit of planking, my favorite core exercise. I save it till the end, because we're recruiting every single muscle, getting our spine and back so strong as well. Let's go from a high plank, lift those knees, tilt the pelvis, suck your belly button up to the ceiling, Let's go to that low plank. Hold it there, there's no rush. I want you to feel it. Up to high plank. Maybe adding four mountain climbers. Three, knee to chest. Two, one. Going down low. Woo, sweating it out here. Hold, bring it back up. Four mountain climbers. We are nearly there. Let's get to that low plank. Till the end, last three, two, one. Amazing. Guys, I am sweating it out here. What an amazing feeling. Remember how you're feeling now? That maybe when you started at the beginning, sometimes working out, we just can't get that motivation, but bottle up this amazing euphoric, feel good finish. We are going for a finisher team. I want to squeeze it in. I know we've gone over time. We're going to add in a nice wall sit. So we're going to try and just sit at the wall. 30 seconds, you're going to punch it out with me. Maybe grab those tins. We are going just for 30 seconds. So let me adjust this timer. I don't want to cheat you. This is the final hold. Isometric hold. I'll show you from the side. I'm going to have a 90 degree bend in those legs. Relax back. Punch out those arms. I know I'm far away. Imagine I am in your home with you, watching you right now. Hold it. Punch those arms out. Or just hold your arms away. We haven't gone long. Last 10 seconds, team.
in to that real finish line, I promise. Three, two, one. Woo, carefully up. Amazing effort, guys. We are gonna switch that off. We're gonna have a few moments to stretch. This is your yourself thanking your body. It's amazing. We've got to stretch. Make sure we don't get any injuries and give your mind and body that beautiful me time now. So we're going to come into that cat cow position. How we started. I know my heart rate's super high. So use your breath. Let's extend that tailbone out. Lifting through the chin, shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in here. Really hold it. Static stretches at the end to lengthen everything out. And then round out that back, tuck the tailbone under, opening out your thoracic spine, chin to chest. Can even go up to your fingertips here. Give that spine a lovely release. I'm going to be sharing some working from home sort of anti-desk stretches on the page at Health and Wellbeing magazine very soon as well, as well as some other tips and recipes. We're going to go into a downward facing dog, so just tuck your toes under, lift those hips up, have a soft bend in those knees, pedaling out the hamstrings, bringing your chest towards your thighs. This is such a lovely one, you want to release everything out, bringing length, so pedaling those heels down to the ground. Breathe. You can hear I am really out of breath here. Try and maybe press both heels to the ground, bringing those knees back down to the ground. We're going to extend into a lovely child's pose. We're going to bring our glutes to our heels, head towards the ground. Lengthening out those arms, really move those fingertips as far away as possible. Breathe into your rib cage. Nice deep breaths. And then you can maybe bring your right hand out to the side of your mat or rug. Bring that left hand over to meet it. So you've got lovely side stretch on that left side. Really enjoy this. And coming over. Left hand, right hand over. I remember when I started my wellness journey, and I'm in my 40s now, I really struggled with just stretching, but trust me, over time and practice, your body really adapts and you can do amazing things. Your flexibility will increase. Bring it back to the middle. Coming up to a nice, we're gonna do a little cobra actually, just to release out our abs. So you've got two options here. You can simply come down with the hips into that full cobra, shoulders away from the ears, or if that's too much, come down, chest and stomach to the mat, move those hands forward, forearms onto the ground, and we're going to extend, lifting up like a sphinx, a low cobra position. I squeeze my glutes to protect my lower back, Lifting through the chin, so whichever one you're on, just hold it there. Breathe, smile, enjoy this sweat, this lovely feel-good feeling. Excellent work. Coming back, we're going to go to all fours, threading the needle, putting one arm through, down, bring your ear down and shoulder down to the mat. You can extend the other arm up. Hold here guys, really enjoy this lovely stretch and back down and enjoy this peaceful moment. I mean it's very quiet in my house, I know the kids are waiting for dinner and the dog is upstairs somewhere, but enjoy this moment. Let's go to the other side, you've got two way stretch with that upper arm, lengthening out, try and bring your ear down to the mat, bring that hand back. Push yourself up, tuck the toes under. We're going to come into a forward fold. Just hang out here, team. Whatever feels good, maybe hands on opposite elbows. Rock it out side to side, or just really surrender. Relax the head and neck. 
and then you're going to engage your core, roll up the spine, each vertebra by vertebra. If you haven't done any of my workouts before, I do a feel good finish, but before I do that, we're going to do a lovely standing feel good hug like a cat cow. This is something I've been doing through the pandemic on all my workouts because we're missing our hugs. It's not long now, team, before we hug our loved ones. So send this lovely hug to someone you're missing. Open out the arms, lift through the chin, and then wrap your arms around your body, creating that C shape in your spine, chin to chest. Let's do that once more. Feel good hug, opening out. I'm gonna send this one to you guys for being so amazing joining in tonight, hug it round, and my signature, woo, feel good finish. We're gonna take a nice big positive inhale team, breathe in lots of positivity, exhale any negativity, stress anxiety all away, and a final big positive inhale, hands me at the top, down to your amazing heart center. Give yourselves a massive round of applause. Thank you to everyone that has joined me live. I am Lavina. I'm at Feel Good with Lavina. I have loads of workouts. I've been doing lives throughout the pandemic. They were twice daily during lockdown one. Um, they're for all ages. I also do free workouts for the elderly and seniors is open to all on a friday i'm still continuing that with my 73 year old mother-in-law i have exercise snacks so they are literally snack sized amounts of short bouts of movement i've got hit snacks i've got strength snacks stretch mobility you name it um, all on my igtv so head over Send me some messages. Let me know if you enjoyed this session. And thank you so much, Health and Wellbeing Magazine, for hosting and having me on. I will be sharing lots of content on this page as well over the forthcoming weeks. And I'm also a judge on the Health and Wellbeing Awards. So please submit your nominations and get voting and take part in this lovely awards as well with me. Lots of love, stay safe everyone, keep moving, and well done for tonight. This will be saved on their IGTV. Lots of love.